What is up, guys? Welcome back to The Crew 2. And well, as y'all know, with the Season 9 American Legends update, they also brought us lots of cars that we can use and or transfer to Motorfest. And the Lancia Stratos HF Stradale is actually going to be one of them. And it's, of course, going to be in the street category as well, which is kind of interesting, considering it's going to be the only street Lancia, at least at the moment. But overall, guys, this thing is obviously in stock form here, so it does look pretty awesome. And do not worry if you guys are thinking about GTA, you are not going to be alone in that aspect. But you can also customize this one, at least compared to the Rallycross version. Which, by the way, I will be posting the Rallycross version of this car most likely at the end of the week. But at least we actually have a Lancia now in the streetcar category, which is kind of odd because I really thought there was one in here before. But then again, I really don't use a lot of these cars to begin with. So actually seeing one now is most likely not going to be like the best performing vehicle. But I will jump more into that here in a second with like a top speed test. And then jumping into a street race to really see how this car does do. But when it does come to its overall customization, there's actually a good amount you can do to it. Now, of course, it's not going to have like 25 bumpers or... Something insane like 35 different body kits and or like a bunch of weird different parts. I did notice a lot of cars in the Crew 1 actually had stuff like that where you would change the parts. And then it would be like a tiny little piece that you actually change. But nonetheless guys the front fenders here this thing can go fully carbon. I would like to know in the comments below though if you could actually do this to a Lancia. Then again though actually thinking about this you could probably make any vehicle carbon fiber if you actually had the money. So I would say it's most likely going to be like a customization thing in the crew too but moving over to the next item guys I'm actually going to add. It's going to be a wide body kit for the Lancia which surprisingly looks pretty dang good. Then we're also going to have you know a fully carbon version of that. And then we're going to have another wide body kit, which honestly, I'm not digging the front end of this one all that much, though. The bottom of this really does look kind of odd. I can't really zoom in, but um, yeah, no. And then moving over to the next one, I know a shocker. It's going to be fully carbon, but I really am digging the third one on this list. I think that actually looks pretty cool. And then moving over to the rims here, I am running the regular Lancia rims, because who actually wants something like that on the vehicle and or that? And then we're going to have the caliper colors as well. So for this, I'll probably make these yellow. For some odd reason, a blue car with yellow calipers really does look awesome. And then moving over to the side mirror. So here's the stock ones. Almost like a matte finish. Then we have the painted ones. Then we have a carbon fiber, which I did just notice some. It's only on this side here. And then moving over to the skirts now. So for this, guys, I obviously have a body kit. So... We're going to have to add this one to the vehicle. We also have a carbon one, which, eh, that one doesn't look all that great. And then moving over to the back fenders now. So here's a shocker. This thing can literally go fully carbon. I am not kidding. Then we're going to have another wide body piece here. So that does match mine. Then we have the carbon version. Then we have the other kit. What is that? Um, change. Then we also have the carbon version of that. And then moving over to the rear wings here. So for this one, I honestly could not decide which ones I actually like though. So I'm going through these guys. Here's the regular ones. Then we have the carbon. So for me, I'll probably go with the carbon. Then we'll have nothing, which um just doesn't look right. Then we have that piece on there. I believe that's like a loafer. I think that's how you say that. And then we also have like whatever this is. What the? That's like pointed. That looks like a paper airplane. Hmm. Then we also have this thing because you need that downforce. And then moving over to the rear bumpers here. So looking at these as well, I'm most likely not going to add any of these to the car except this one. Only because it adds like that bottom piece to carbon, which actually looks kind of cool. I'm not really feeling the other exhaust pipes though because like what is this? Like what? what is that? Then we're going to have the other one here, which this one actually looks kind of cool, though. I would say it would actually fit the Lancia for the most part, but the other one I'm not really feeling all that much. And besides that, though, we also have the interior. So for me, guys, I have to go yellow all the way over to the right here, basically with the stitching. Go to that and then move over to, let's do carbon. 
But that will basically do it for the customization of this Lancia. So overall, it does have a good amount of things you can do to it. To be honest though, it's most likely not going to be as much as many of the other cars, but at least we actually have a Lancia in the streetcar category. But nonetheless guys, let's go do a top speed test on this vehicle right now, and then let's jump into a race to really check out its overall performance. So I figured for the outside view of the Lancia, why not head over to the highway here in Miami? I also noticed guys from the outside view into the interior, my character is basically in the seat that um looks very odd, but the overall look of this car really is interesting to me. I also wonder how they actually designed a lot of these cars, but I've always been a big fan of Lancia, and not only that though, this thing sounds pretty awesome. Now moving over to the interior view of this Lancia, it actually looks exactly how I would expect it to. This car was obviously from the 70s, so you don't have a huge iPad in the middle like most of the new cars nowadays do. Which by the way, let me know your thoughts on how the new interiors and vehicles actually are. To be honest guys, I'm not the biggest fan of those big iPads in the middle. I really don't know why every single new car has to have that, but overall though the interior in this Lancia looks pretty dang cool. But now besides all that, let's go see what the top speed of this car is actually going to be. So one thing I'm definitely not used to is how small this car actually is. I feel like I'm kind of zoomed out of this thing, but then again though, this thing is obviously not a big car. So it's also going to be a 5 speed as well guys. So with a nitro chemist set, let's see how fast the Lancia can actually get to. So let's hit the nitrous now. So it looks like around 246 miles an hour. Maybe 247. It looks like 246 is indeed going to be the top speed, which is actually going to make it faster than many of the other street cars. I'm honestly wondering how they actually pick the top speeds of these cars, and I'm starting to wonder if they actually make some of these cars like almost random. That way they can't actually be insanely overpowered. Let's be honest, if we actually had a car that had like the speed of the Super Legera and turned something like the Porsche 911 GT, that would be an absolute monster. Now overall guys, from driving the Lancia, it's probably going to handle and or drive exactly like I did expect it to. But to be honest, I'm really digging the overall look of this car though. I do know this car is obviously going to be a classic, but I really do think some of the way they actually designed these cars back in like the 70s and 80s were really ahead of their time by a long shot because my goodness, this thing looks pretty insane and you're most likely never going to see a lot of these on the road. And obviously in the USA, you're most likely never going to see any. I do believe I've actually seen one of these cars down in Miami when there was like a big car show. I do believe it was the Miami Concourse and I think there was actually one Lancia there. But besides that guys, you're most likely never going to actually see one of these on the road, at least here. I would probably say overseas, you're probably going to see some of these on the road, which my goodness, that would be absolutely insane. But the Stratos really is a crazy looking car though. I really do remember driving this car on GTA, so seeing this thing actually being added into the Crew 2 really is going to be a great sight to see. But if you were wondering, is this car going to be like a really good street car for racing? To be honest guys, I would probably say it's not going to be like the best option. There is definitely going to be better cars like for example the Infiniti Q60 and or something like the Porsche 911 GT are obviously going to be better. They are going to handle and or have like a better top speed even though many of those cars tend to top out at like 250 and the Q60 does like around 238 so the Lancia is actually going to be faster which um really doesn't make that much sense but I would probably say it's going to come down to how these cars do actually drive overall. Now I would say the Lancia is most likely going to be better for like doing the stories and or just messing around in like free mode and basically driving around but if you guys did want to like grind out money and or followers sure I would say the Lancia is going to be a fun car especially if you are a fan of this thing. And you can also jump into like a street race with like a fame magnet set and basically go after a lot of money and or followers. I really do think the Stratos is going to be great, especially for grinding out money and or followers. Or if you guys are trying to get some missing parts for the street category as well. But if you guys are looking to break records and stuff in summits, 
this is most likely not going to be the best car for that, but one of my favorite things about the Lancia is the fact that it's going to be the only Lancia in the street category, which honestly makes this car insanely unique. You also have a lot of customization with this vehicle as well, which I really do think makes this car actually pretty awesome. And if you guys did want to buy this car, it's going to be less than 250k, so it really isn't going to be insanely expensive. And of course, similar to the other vehicles in the Season 9 update, this is also going to be another car you guys will be able to transfer to Motorfest. But because this thing is going to be part of Season 9, you will have to wait until the second season of the Crew Motorfest. But at least you can actually get these cars over in that game. But I would like to know your thoughts on the Lancia Stratos in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more insight.